everyone. I'd like to share with you my tag. This is from Marie's May Swap that she's hosting at the Pretty Paper Boutique. I will add her link down below. And the theme was Vintage Lady. And we were to use Distress inks or paint. And the optional challenge was a lace or doily. So let me share with you what I did. I used the Tim Holtz number no. 8 tags. And I purchased these from Jen at Live Teach Create. And then I just adhered it to some medium weight chipboard. And then on top of the tag, I added some of this paper here that Avari gave me. And then I just stressed the edges with the vintage photo. And then went over it with the walnut stain. And then um, I stamped this image. This is one of my new stamps that I got from Aaron Brothers. This is the Tim Holtz Slight Alteration Stamp and I use this one. The stamp is perfect for backgrounds and I love um, the stamp set. And as you can see here, so I used my Distress Embossing um, Ink and then I heat set it with the Black Soot Distress Embossing Powder. And if you guys could see that, I just love the way it looks. And then so on the top here I just got some of my um, gesso and just painted it and then sprayed some of the Glimmer Mist in the Latte and then I stamped over that with my Oxford Impression stamp set. I use this address right here and then I do the same thing to the bottom. You can see that. And then so I added um, a white feather and then this image I got from the internet. Um, she's really beautiful. And I love her hair, her makeup, everything. And then the white feathers. And that's how um, I thought of incorporating this white feather in the back. And then for her photo, I just stressed it with my edging tool. And then I used the Walnut Stain Distress Ink. And this is the Eiffel Tower using my Sizzix Eiffel Tower die. I used the corrugated board. Um, that Donna Salazar designed and what I did was um, where the part that it's not corrugated I took a, um, just a paintbrush and then I used the cocoa bean copper in the starburst stain and then on the part that's corrugated I used the gold acrylic paint dauber and then I went over the entire Eiffel Tower with the distressed crackle paint in the picket fence and then I went over it with the walnut stain using my distressing tool and that's how it looks like that and then I also edged it with the walnut stain as well and then I added some lace this is some vintage lace that my mom gave me for the flower here I used the hydrangea flowers so I edged that with um, the cocoa bean copper using um, my aqua pen and then this one I left by itself and then this one right here I stained that with the cocoa bean copper again and then this is a Prima Baby Rose and this is some Prima um, paper leaves that I twisted and then I glimmer mist that with the olive vine and then on top here I added a extra large eyelet in the antique brass and then I hung a um, Eiffel Tower charm with the garment pin and then I added some lace and fiber this lace was actually white and what I did was instead of spraying um, the Gossamer Gold Moon Shadow Mist on the lace I took um, a paintbrush and then just painted it over um, because I saw that I was wasting by spraying it rather than just painting it. Um, so that's just a little tip. And that's my tag. I hope uh, my group likes it. I had a fun time making this. And thank you again, Marie, for hosting this. And thanks, everyone, for watching. Bye.